So uh, here we are on our way home from today's Paris Antises. I don't know if we can see Chuck in the picture here. Uh, go ahead and talk about it, but speak up. Things were, you know, went normal. Everything was good, easy. Uh, got the uh, bad fluid off. Everything worked out okay. So feel a lot better. Helps my system all the way around. That's all. How I'm many doing. liters did they take off? Nine liters. And how, so basically, that translates to how much weight? Uh, I don't know. What was it? Twenty pounds. About twenty-three pounds. Yes. <laughs> Nine liters of fluid is approximately twenty-three pounds. But uh, what struck me today was. Now, I'm not trying to attack the medical community. I mean, everybody knows we're trying to eat healthy and do what's best for our body physically, especially, you know, when you're that sick. But the nurse, you know, she makes a comment like, well, you know, you can just go on home and enjoy Christmas dinner and eat all you want and then come on back and we'll take the fluid off again when it builds up. And We don't subscribe to that. I, that's what I had on my mind because it's like, you know, we're doing everything we can to uh, follow the diet and eat healthy in a way that's going to benefit Chuck's body and that his body, as, as, as much as his liver is not operating properly, we're hoping that we can do everything possible to help the liver, you know, not to hinder it. I mean, you know, I don't know what anybody's idea of a Christmas dinner is. I mean, obviously, that's probably going to be some roasted turkey or some, you know, all the ham and all the trimmings, whatever. I mean, and there's nothing wrong with that, but for somebody with an ailing liver, you know, you would think they would say, watch your diet. <laughs> they just never say it. There's nobody there who has ever said to us, you know, other than restricting your salt and maybe cutting back on liquids, nobody has said to us, you know, you should really think about the foods that you're eating and choose your foods wisely. Nobody's ever counseled us to eat fruits and vegetables or in, in any way, you know, with the nutrition, so... You know, that's all well and good, but I mean, you know, they don't know any better, and I'm not worried about it. It's, uh, we don't go there to get fluid pumped off to eat Christmas dinner. We go in there to get yeah. it off so that we can, you know, continue with our awareness of the body and try to, you know, prolong the fluid build up as long as possible. That's right. The whole so that's that's our main goal in trying to eat healthy and be very careful with his diet is to to just to aid his liver as much as possible in dealing with what it has to deal with. So anyway, uh, that that that's the update for now. And uh, like he said, he's feeling better. He's got that 23 pounds off, losing 23 pounds in just two hours. It's, it's not just the 23 pounds. The stuff that's yeah, the fluid is acidic and it does wreak havoc on your system. This particular last week, it caused a lot of agitation. It caused some minor confusion and it was a rough week for him. So hopefully this week coming up will be uh, better now that he's got the fluid off. So it was just three weeks since the last paracentesis up to this one. So we'll see how long we can go again. Uh, before we have to do another one. And uh, that's another thing that's a little upsetting. We were hoping to make it to January, but we didn't. So we'll, uh, we'll just see what happens. We'll do the best we can and just, you know, I just want to say thanks to everybody for all your prayers and your love and your support. The, the overwhelming support that people are giving us in just gifts and, and love and just, it, it's just amazing, and I'm just so, so thankful. There's no better medicine in the world. Yeah, just, prayer. and the love of God's people. So we just thank you for that, and we'll go ahead and sign off for now.